Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I am going to be stuffing my sinking funds for the second time in November. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. And how's everybody's November budget doing? I hope you're doing good and keeping on track, sticking to your goals. So today I'm going to be stuffing £145, but because we have a lot of funds to take out because of spending on the card, I've just got the £5 notes that I seem to be able to keep rotating because they're quite hard for me to get at my post office. I don't have a bank that's that close. So I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, £25 of £5 notes, which we'll use if we need to. So been doing a lot of spending on Christmas gifts and ridiculous postage costs. <laughs> so we can see that I put Christmas with a P because that was postage. Two parcels to Australia was £47. I was like, what? That is so much. It was more than I was expecting. Um, and they were actually birthday gifts, very late birthday gifts, but I took it from Christmas because otherwise it would have wiped out the gifts envelope. And then I did get my family a few other Christmas presents, but I bought them online in Australia, so I did not have to post them from here. So the birthday gifts that I had been posting, and I posted a couple yesterday, which is this gifts expense for postage was another £35 for two parcels, but it, I'd been buying them things like I was very late for their birthdays. So some of these things I've had sitting in my house for like a year and I just wanted to post them. So, but from now on, I think I'm going to have to try really hard not to buy them anything here and just get them online gifts in Australia, get them delivered that way. So that's that explanation. <clears throat> And I didn't take it from my little postage envelope because I want it to build up and there's just no point wiping it out already. So, so far for gifts, we need to take out 50, 60, 80, 110 pounds. So I'm going to do that first. So for Christmas, 110 pounds. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60. What am I doing? I don't have 110. <laughs> right, let me take out gifts first. So gifts is £35 to take out. So... 20, 30, 35 coming out of gifts and leaving it with 30 pounds. And now we can go back to Christmas. So I'll swap. That went, will that work? I can't math. I pause while I while I try and compute. That won't even help, will it? Right. Christmas is getting stuffed with £25 today. So if I do that, 25 then I can take out 110 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 10. So it got stuffed and withdrawn at the same time then. So Christmas has left 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Sorry if that was very confusing. Okay. So let me just tick off that we've taken out all of these expenses. I don't want to double dip an envelope. And... We should have £145 to stuff, but I think, is it going to be 120 now? 20, 40, 60, 80, 
100, 110, 150, 120. Okay, so it was 145 pounds to stuff all together, but we've already stuffed Christmas. So 120 pounds left, plus the spare five pounds if we need them. So we'll just put this money to the side. I don't think the denominations will be right again, so we'll just have to do our best. Okay, cats are getting 15 pounds. So 10, 15. So cats have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. 100 pounds. I'm going to take out... Um, I'm going to take out four tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, and put in two 20s instead. So they should still have 100 pounds. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. <coughs> Excuse me. So their Christmas presents will come from here, and also the little baby one. Kirby Lewis, he's going to be two on Christmas Eve, so we'll have to get him a present as well. So cats have got a hundred pounds now. Christmas we've just done. There's a hundred and twenty left in there. Clothes is getting ten pounds. So clothes has thirty-five pounds now. Gifts is not getting anything this time. Health is getting nothing as well this time. It's got 70 pounds. So because I've got a big vet fee coming up, I had to reduce some of my sinking funds because there's only, you know, there's only so much money per month that you can use for sinking funds. So health and home usually get 20. This month they only got £10 each. So home is getting £10. So that extra £20 went to the vet envelope. So now home has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 115. Okay, and then Lush is getting £10. It's quite funny because my sisters both enjoy Lush products as well. So that's what I got them from Lush Australia online. That was only a $9 delivery, which is like, you know, £4 instead of me spending £85 this month on postage. Okay, so Lush is getting £10. And it's got, I think I'll swap out two tens for a 20. So now Lush has 20, I don't know why I'm doing it all funny, 20, 30, 40, 45. So I'll be able to get the things that I need and maybe something nice for myself for Christmas. A nice um, bubble bar or something. Tech is not getting anything. It got it last time. It's got £125. Tech is just to save up, you know, when invariably my phone or my laptop, something will die. So I'm just building it slowly towards that. Travel is getting £10. So now travel has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 120, 140, 160, 180, 190, 200. 200, that's good. Hit a little milestone, 200 pounds. And vet is getting 50 pounds. So the cat surgery, little figgy, she needs dental surgery. I had to change the date of it 
to the 20th of December because I couldn't get time off work to take her because you can't drop her off till nine o'clock so she has to wait a few more weeks so hopefully she'll be fine until then so they're getting 20 40 50 she still seems okay since they gave her the antibiotic shot so hopefully she'll last till December the 20th so now vet has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 265. And we need 560-ish. That's their quote. It can always be more or less. Well, more probably. <laughs> 265, not bad. Self is not getting anything. And then my other little envelopes that stay in here. So optician is not getting anything. Optician has 40 pounds. Nieces is getting five pounds. So nieces now has 30 pounds. Postage. Is not getting anything like I said I didn't use this because I thought let me at least keep a little bit of postage so I can send you know normal cards and things like that in the mail that's what I want to use this for now it's, it's not gonna cover all those packages they weren't even big like honestly 1.5 kilo cost 27 pounds and 500 gram cost 15 pounds Excuse me. Work is getting five pounds. So now work has 10, 20, 25, 30. And YouTube is getting five pounds. So 15 pound in YouTube. So that is all of those categories done. So there should be the twenty-five pound left. Yep. So we did. We did need to use two five-pound notes. So I'm just going to pop this back in the front and recycle those fives again. And how is everyone feeling this month with their budget? I really feel like I could just spend hundreds of pounds on things I want very, very easily, and I'm trying trying to be good I have spent quite a bit this month on myself as well but you can always spend more right I have months where I don't really want or need anything much and then months where I'm like wow if someone gave me 500 pound I would spend it now easily so yeah thanks for watching if you'd like to see some of the things that I've been making my new hobby stay tuned so at the end of August, I discovered a hobby called slow stitching and it's hand sewing and it's very relaxing. And that's what I've been spending most of my spending money on since then to buy little bits of fabric. And I found on Etsy little kits that come with little bits of color coordinated fabric and a few buttons and charms and things like that. So I've made a couple of things. This is one of the first things I made. It's a needle book. So it's using mostly vintage fabrics and cut up doilies and things like that. So it's just to keep the, the needles in. So like I didn't do this embroidery here. It was already on the fabric that's a vintage one. It's just got the little pages for, for your needles. But I've, you know, put the book together. And then I loved that one so much I had to make another one. So I made a little blue one. And I did a lot of stitching on this one. I don't know how it's coming out in the camera, but it's very cute to me. <laughs> it's not everyone's taste. And this piece of fabric was already like that. So it's just it's cute. So I have two needle books. I probably don't need two, but... I don't want to give one away. And I made a wall hanging for my kitchen, but it's not 
finish the back. I don't know how because, as I say, that's new to me. So I have to learn how to <laughs> what to do to finish the back of it. So it's all still just in its hoop. But it's a 12 inch hoop and it takes a long time but it is called slow stitching it is slow but it's very relaxing very relaxing I do it while I'm watching all my budgeting YouTube videos and then just last night I, um, I my favorite Etsy shop had little Christmas kits so I got two and I made Christmas wreath one for me and so it came with the the um, hessian or hessian already on this hoop and then I had to stitch all of these little fabric puffs and attach all the buttons and snowflakes and things like that and the charm or the dangly bit and sew it all together and then I made one that's very very similar I bought two kits because I thought I'm going to give this to my friend for Christmas. So I think she would, hopefully she will like that. They're very Scandi inspired. Anyway, thanks for watching if you stuck around and I'll see you next time. Bye.